video guys let me show you how to restore the iMac Pro 2017 the thing that you have to do is turn on and go to your keyboard and hold the command and the R button you have to keep holding it and you will see the, the actual logo from Apple Make sure before doing this, back up all your files on the user and then proceed by restoring your actual iMac Pro. Okay, now we have to select the language. And here we could go ahead and reinstall the macOS. Or if you want to go to this utility, if you want to remove it completely, or if you're going to use the Time Machine backup, if you have like an entire backup from the actual computer. And here we go to we select the, the drive, we go to erase, we could make partition if we want. We could erase the entire uh, hard drive, we could put whatever name you want. And then we go to erase. One is done. We close this and we go to restart macOS. Make sure we connect to the Wi-Fi. The actual computer requires to be connected to the Wi-Fi to be able to download the operating system. It's connecting right now to the Wi-Fi. Just give a little bit, it's done. And now go to continue, restart macOS, continue. And it's gonna connect to the server. We do agree and then we install it. It's gonna take eight minutes. Use eight minutes to actually download the, the files. They're waiting eight minutes for the operating system to finish loading. Now it's installing it. It will take about 11 minutes. And now to finish the installation. It's about a minute now. Remember, first of all, we have to back up all the files in our hard drive or USB flash drive. After that, we shut down the computer. We press the key on the keyboard, Command R. We wait for it, and then we go to this utility to erase the hard drive. After that, we reinstall the operating system. And now we go to this process, download, and then the installation, and now the actual device is loading up. Now it's gonna ask you for the country. I'm gonna skip this part like I always I always do. We we hit continue. 
Continue. Agree, agree, and then we'll put the the name, and then we'll go continue, and we'll put the password. It's creating the account. We hit continue again. It finished finishing up the setup for the Mac. And now we have our iMac Pro 2017 back. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys need. And thank you so much for watching.